In this video, we will assign a static IP address to our Ubuntu 16 LTS server, or just Ubuntu server, in our VirtualBox environment. So go ahead, make sure VirtualBox is open, click on the VirtualBox text in the top left, and then select the General Preferences, which just says Preferences dot dot dot. Select that. Now, click on the Network icon, and then in the Network icon you will see NAT Networks tab and the Host Only Networks tab. Select Host Only Networks tab. Now, click on the plus sign. This may contain something if you've already been working in here, but go ahead, add a new host, only network. Our new host only network is going to be called VBOX Net Zero. Again, if you have another one, use that new one you just created. But for this example, we only have one. So go ahead, double click that, and then make sure you back up onto a text file the IPv4 address and the net mask. I've already gone ahead and done this myself, as you can see. And then click OK. Don't worry about the DHCP, we will not be using it. Next, what you want to do is make sure your instance is selected of your server. Click on the Settings gear icon. And then over in the Network tab, click on that. Select Adapter 2. Check Enable Network Adapter. For Attached 2, change it from Not Attached to Host Only Adapter. Notice it selects our Host Only Adapter, VBOX Net 0. Click OK. Now, go ahead and start your server. Now that our server has loaded, next what you want to do is go ahead and log in. The next two steps after we log in is only required if this is a clone of another server. So you don't need to do this if this is not a clone. So you can skip the next two steps. As I said, only if this is a clone do you need to do this step and the next step. So we don't care too much because our server is called Ubuntu Server and that's, where all, that's what we're working with, just one server, not multi multiple instances, just this one. So we don't need to change anything. However, if you had another server that you were going to run besides this one, you would want to take your cursor with your keys and scroll to the right, press the I key on your keyboard which will allow you to insert, also known as editing in the Vim mode, and then you will want to backspace and change the name of whatever the host server is called. Then you would press the escape key on your keyboard and then type colon WQ, which means write and then quit. But since we are not changing anything, I am just going to type quit. Now do the same thing but we are going to change the host file. Again, this is only needed if this is a clone of a server. So you would come down to the second line, press the I key, change the information, press the escape key, and then colon write quit. But again, we are not writing anything. Now, go ahead and clear the information out, and then type ifconfig space dash a. This will show us our network interfaces and ports. We want to work with the second one which is the one we are going to assign a static IP address to. So make sure you write this down into the same text document as the one with our IPv4. So I've already gone ahead and done that. We have ENP0S8. Yours may be different. If it is, make sure you write that down. Next, we are going to edit using our super user and Vim our interfaces configuration file 
This will allow us to assign a static IP address to that second port. We will also need to create an IP address. The IP address will use this information for our IPv4 and then the best choice is to append it with 01 because we know it's the one we are using. If it was a second one we could do 102. Leave the net mask as the same and go ahead and follow along. Again we are going to write and quit so go ahead and follow along. Make sure you move your cursor all the way down to the last letter of the line. And then press the I key. Then press enter. Whoop. Sorry. Press the I key, then push to the right. And then press enter, and press enter again. Next, type the following lines using the second port interface that we grasp. So for, so for me, that's ENP0S8. INET static means we are going to create a static IP or assign a static IP to this port. Now, press the escape key, type colon, w, q, write and quit. Next, reboot your server, so type sudo reboot. Go ahead, log back into the server, and type ifconfig-a again. Notice that our INET for the EMP0S8 now has an address of 192.168.56.101. Excellent. That's what we want. Next, let's confirm that we can ping this address from an outside source, such as our current computer we're actually working on. So I'm going to open up my terminal from the Mac that I'm working on, and I'm going to ping that address. It appears we're getting a response. Excellent. I'm going to press Control C to cancel the run. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll work with SSH.